There's some really interesting case studies in this book. Um, I've looked at best-in-class examples from all over the world uh, to see what alternative approaches are being taken from India, where they're really doing some fascinating things around innovation, from China, with a really different philosophy around the role of leadership, and obviously from countries in other parts of Europe, in Scandinavia, where the sense of the importance of connection with communities has been far stronger for a lot longer. When we talk about supply chains and the use of slave labour around the world, people are increasingly concerned not only where the produce comes from, but also what's been involved in, in making that uh, cheap garment possible. And uh, part of my research, I discovered cases in uh, northern uh, Pakistan where rugs that were being made for IKEA uh, had actually involved uh, examples of young people being sold into slave labour and being unable to escape um, and actually resulting in the child dying as a result of that, uh, that, that experience. That's been widespread. Now IKEA are an organisation that have taken the lead in understanding the whole of their supply chains and getting much closer to what's been going on and changing their working practices on the ground. And I think given so many organisations have global supply chains now, that kind of reconnection in your supply chain really demonstrates the really positive impact that organisations who reconnect can have.